Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, Candace woke me up this morning and um, she said, let's go. And we went to a garage sale and we're going to show y'all that stuff after we pull a few orders. We've just got eight orders going out this morning. Yeah, it's Thursday, so we really weren't planning to go, but this one popped up kind of when I was looking through Marketplace and it looked interesting. And it was. So, yeah, we're going to get the orders pulled, and then we're going to show you guys what we found. Candace used a very interesting tactic at this garage sale, too, which most of y'all wouldn't do. <laughs> most people wouldn't do. Yeah. But uh, it worked out good, and it made us go there, too, which is a good thing. Yep. <laughs> but, yeah, let's go ahead and pull these orders so we can get them out. Okay. Uh, first one is Tora Lee. She's on 5 Echo, Monster High. Oh, you know what? The stuff from the uh, estate sale that I listed, that I talked about yesterday, mm -hmm. I didn't list everything. Oh. I forgot to I forgot to list that briefcase. Oh, brief yeah. Nope, I'll do that today. Yeah. All right, Tori Lee, she is right here. Right when I'm starting to remember which is which, or know which is which, and where they're at, then we'll be almost got, done with all of them. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> she sold for twelve. Okay, this is a good sale. 3A, you sold the fiberglass hard hat. Yeah. That was uh, from Kevin and Danielle by. We had this hard hat, which, yeah, is fiberglass. And it, doesn't it look cool? It does. It kind of has that, um, the, um, like, Amazon. Yeah. Indiana Jones kind of look or I know. Explorer with the coloring they did on it. It's in great condition, too. Yeah. The, uh, the only thing I had to do, it had, like, LSU decals and real tree and all this other stuff. Yeah. And um I was able to get all that off. Oh, and the marker. And it had marker, which we showed showed in a video the other day. The dry, had marker like yeah. right here and the dry erase method worked. Yeah. Which I was concerned about because you see how it has that gloss to it? Yeah. I certainly did not want to use magic eraser on that. It right. would have ruined that finish. Right. So yeah. And look how clean that yeah, it looks great, and we got $90. 90 bucks. That's a good sale there. All right, two Charlie uh, Care Bears Burger King toys. Sunshine Bear, $8. Oh, boy. Uh, two Charlie. Man, that's a weird... Everything... It must be kind of big. Everything's weird about that whole situation. Where it's located and everything. Yeah, why? That must have been... Uh, Usually a, something it's like that is going to be small, and we would have put it... Yeah, Burger King toy? What? What did I do? I don't know. Is that it? It must be. Is that it over there? Oh, it's, there's something over here. Is that it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Man, that is a, bigger than I thought it was going to be. No, but that's a weird place to put this. <laughs> we usually put something small like this in a drawer, in a drawer or maybe up here, or, or maybe on CC, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. All that's right. sold for eight dollars. That mu we must have listed that when the. Sh the shed was like super full right after we listed a bunch of other stuff maybe so yeah the drawers were like all full at one point yeah um two delta do score gone okay ten dollars for that one okay it's all the belt buckle in the smallest drawer it's actually in a little case like a little this drawer must be this case. one uh, DSI Transport Safety Award. That is actually really cool. I don't think I ever saw that. Yeah, look, look how yeah. it's very well done. Almost looks like a class ring. Yeah. <laughs> you know? 15 for that. Okay. All right, we sold a Nutcracker 12 Charlie L Ghost of Christmas Present. So I listed these Christmas um, Carol Nutcrackers yesterday, and two of them sold last night. Yeah, look, we got past yet to come for future and present. present we got marley's ghost yeah. and then i have two more i need to list um well one more yep man that marley's ghost is cool with that chain and it's like real chain it's like is it yeah it's, it's metal it's not plastic oh it is metal yeah isn't that cool oh it is very cool i like this this size is cool mm -hmm. like it's not so like freaking it, huge yeah. You know? So Christmas present is what that's the one we're doing right here. Yeah. Okay. Sold that for sixty. Those are really well done. Mm -hmm. I like. I think that's a perfect size They're too. Nice looking. Okay. 
All right, we had we sold some safety glasses. We must be almost out of yeah, these. Yeah, I think huh? we had like three pair going in that sale. So. This is BR. Black and red or blue and red. There's a BR and that is an SG. Okay. That's more of an orange. Let me see. No, that's red. Okay. Mm. I think you're colorblind. All right. Oh, nine dollars for those. I've been arguing with you about colors for thirty years. I know. <laughs> we sold another Ghost of Christmas yet to come. Okay. So, which is a really weird way to say future. I know. <laughs> I never read the novel or book or whatever. Maybe that's how it's worded. I guess so, but like it makes you wonder why the Christmas past one isn't called like uh, Ghost of Christmas uh, already happened or something instead of past. If you're not willing to use future, why would you use past? This guy's scary though. Look, he has a freaking sickle. Yep. Which is it? Is he like death or something? I think so. Oh my gosh. He sold for sixty. Okay. okay. That's everything we have going out because no Mercari today or possibly. No Mercari. Right? Yep. Nope. So that's everything we have going out today. Uh, get these things packed up and then we're going to show you all what we found. Today. Yeah, we found a few little fun things today for cheap. All right, packages are away and we're going to show you all our single garage sale stuff. Um, we paid $19. Total of $19 <laughs> for everything on the bench. Yep. Which I think is pretty good. So, um, yeah, I saw this garage sale pop up, and um, I guess we'll start on this end, huh? <laughs> yeah, we can. And I, I was kind of—I like to look through the pictures, you know, just to see if I think it's worth going to. And this was sitting on a table, so I actually messaged her and I said, um, "How much are y'all asking for that football helmet?" Well, first I said, "What size is that helmet?" And then I said, "How much are y'all asking?" And the, you did the what size was like. That was a way to say, hey, we want to see if this helmet fits our kid, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of dumb because she replied, um, I don't know, it's $3. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'll take it. So um, what I did was I knew we weren't, the sale started at 7 and I knew we weren't going to get there right away. Um, so I asked her if I could Venmo her the $3 and pick it up later and she said yes. So, uh, condition unknown, I just took the chance and, um, cause I mean, I, the image was far back, it was sitting on the table, but you could zoom in and see it was a shoot. So, um, yeah, I sent her the $3 and then, um, we got up and went to the sale, got that, and then we found a few other things. Electronic so. payment for $3. Yeah. It's pretty awesome, huh? It's, it's got some dings and stuff, but it's got all yeah. the parts it needs to The have. colors are really cool. Yeah, the blue and orange is really nice. And I'm probably going to peel off these... Uh, the decals. The decals. Yeah. It's got like a mix of... Well, this is uh, a, school, a school in Lafayette, a college. Oh, yeah. Um, and no, I was, I, was, I was saying tech. Louisiana Tech. Yeah, it is. Louisiana Tech University? No. Who are the, who are the, what's their mascot? The Raging Cajuns? Yeah, who is that? Uh, that's Lafayette. Oh, that's Louisiana. Oh, ULL. Isn't it ULL now? No, you're right. Yeah. So, well, now it's, you, I think they wanted to be called like University of Louisiana. And they had to something. add the Lafayette at the end. Uh, actually, I think they might have took it off. Oh. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's a, that's a college in um, Lafayette, Louisiana, and I'm not sure what this is. It looks is. like Clemson is what it looks like to me. Yeah, this was a game played Clemson helmet. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> From their last national. That, that was worn by Deshaun Watson. Anyway, it's got some dings, but it still looks good. Yeah. Pop, pop. Are you proving <laughs> how sturdy it is like that? Yeah. See, it didn't crack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this was hanging up. Uh, we paid $5 for it. It is a Nike jersey. Nike on field jersey. It's for Sorry, Juju Schuster Smith. Or Smith Schuster. Yeah. Juju. It looks pretty clean. I don't see like any snags. It's cool looking yeah. jersey. It is. It's not a great size. It's a large. I paid five for it. Yeah. Let's see. They gave us good deals on everything else. So yeah. when they said five, I didn't push back. All right. I don't know what you paid for this. I paid two dollars for that. Okay. And so this box is not what was in there. Um, but there are three pins. And we, we do okay with these. We pick them up if they're really cheap. I you picked know. this box up and I was like. It's got something in it. 
And I could tell it was open, but I was I didn't even look inside. I just so it, it looks like it came out of like um, one of those subscription boxes, and this one happens to be horror themed. Um, so we've got like um, this is like the coin from the movie Leprechaun, and then the house from Amityville Horror, and then just a little um, from the movie Jaws. But they've got like Amity Island Swim Club, you know. So okay. Just yeah, little, I think those are neat. Yeah. All right, this is an Xbox controller that Lonnie so, picked up. That's a PlayStation 4 controller. Okay, this is a PlayStation 4 controller. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the X on there. <laughs> yeah, well, it does have an X. So. <laughs> um, so Microsoft does not own the letter X yet, anyway. Oh, there is a big P right there. Duh. Yeah. What'd you pay for that? $3. Do you know if it works? Uh, looks like it probably should. I'll test it, though. I can, I can connect it to the... Uh, to the iMac real quick and just test it. But and this yeah. is just some sticker skin they put on there. Yeah, I'll probably peel that off. Okay. Uh, that, yeah, I paid three. I think that's probably worth about 23 or so. This? No, the oh, controller. This? Okay. Yeah. This is Uncle Mike's. Yep, that's a holster, obviously. And the reason I was gonna pass, but I when I was walking by it, I was like, wait, there's a, there's a magazine in there. So I... Uh, I took the magazine out, took a look at it. It's a Glock uh, 40, 40 caliber yeah. uh, magazine. Looks like it holds 10 rounds. Yeah, 12. Oh, is it 12? Okay. No. I'll have to... Why does it say to number 12? Let me see it. it says to number 12, but there's only 10 spots. Because the other, the top spots aren't. Okay, so it does hold 12. Marked. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll just have to make sure that... Um, I have to make sure I could sell it. I, I'm pretty sure I can. I, I don't remember. There's a there's a uh, rule on eBay that your mags can only hold a certain number of rounds, and then you can't sell it anymore. So I'll have to double check that. Yeah. I don't know what that. You know, that might be a twenty dollar thing or something. As far as this um, holster goes, not sure. Not sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I'll, I'll see if I can. I, I'm assuming it's for that. Oh look. It's got a, a a broken strap, anyways. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna toss the sell the mag, huh? Yeah, I'll toss the uh, yeah. toss the holster. And then we bought some. I found these bands for three dollars. Um, they they look like maybe worn once, except they do have some kind of spot right here. Oh, that's not good. Well, they'll still sell, I think. Maybe they'll clean up. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, three dollars for these. Okay. Cool. I mean, not an awesome haul, but for nineteen dollars, that's really good. Like, yeah, we didn't have to go far to this sale, and it was a bonus. We weren't even planning on going and sourcing today. Yeah, I think I think I sell this controller, and the rest of it's free, basically. That's mm -hmm. the way I look at it. Yeah. So, yeah. And hopefully, this is the home run here. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it'll be a home run. It, it that's, it, I think it's hard. I think it'll be difficult for that helmet not to be worth at least fifty bucks. It's probably be worth more though. If it weren't for this helmet, we wouldn't have gone. Okay? Yeah, that's the only reason we went. So. Okay, it was a good little distraction early in the early this morning. Yep. All right. Well, one of the things we bought is just a total waste because I cannot sell this on eBay. Uh, There's a Glock 40 mag, uh, 13 rounds. I went and looked at the eBay policy real quick, and following firearm accessories are not allowed and one of them is high capacity magazines that accept more than 10 rounds even if they have been modified to accept fewer so there i cannot do it uh also cannot sell grenade launchers <laughs> okay we packed orders um i listed like one thing candace listed some nutcrackers while i was packing too yeah but then candace set up candace is all candace is like you really are like my uh, Danielle. You wish. You even no, I don't. <laughs> uh uh. I wouldn't trade you for Danielle. Are you kidding me? So um, there's a local estate sale company, and we've been building a real, trying to build a relationship with the owner um, slowly. And she was ha she told us last weekend that she was having a sale coming up, and starting this week she was going to let people make appointments to come in early while they're still staging and pricing um, to kind of do some early picking. Mainly because I think the location doesn't have great parking, so she's trying to get some of the crowd through there early. So, um, set it up. We went in there today, and 
she, I think she gave us some good deals, but you have to keep in mind this is estate sale prices. Pre pre estate sale. Pre so. estate sale, which you know we normally go on Sundays when everything's half off. And keep in mind this was before the sale, so we weren't like no negotiating. No negotiating at all. Like we've done this before with her. And you also keep in mind this is the lady that we bought all the cookbooks from. Yes. So all the uh go ahead you say it italiana <laughs> uh, so she knows that we are resellers and she tries to give us fair deals when she can but she has to also be true to the family who she's representing you know? and also she she's keeping in mind like the sale hadn't even started yet so right. we're not in a position where we can negotiate a couple of the prices she gave were higher than we wanted to pay so instead of saying like uh, coming back with a different price, we just set it down and moved on. Yeah. So that, yeah. that didn't happen a bunch, but uh, yeah. So uh, we'll show you the stuff and what I think we can get for it roughly, which Candace, uh, we, how much did we pay for everything? $174.51. Okay. And I think that we can make, um, I'll tell y'all what I think we can make off of all this stuff when we get done. Okay. So this is a prince diablo xp mid plus racket it's a pretty good condition it does need a wipe down it's it's not cracked or anything and a new grip yeah well yeah it does definitely need a new grip that's yeah. fairly common uh these rackets um i think i could probably get about 50 dollars for this racket it okay. it can sell for as high as 70 or so but I'm being conservative. I think I could probably get 50. Now this little bat here is cool. We've seen a ton of the little wooden souvenir type bats like this before. Mm -hmm. However, this is an Easton and from, from LSU Tigers 1996. It's and it's an aluminum yeah. bat. So we always, we always come across them in wood and we always pick them up if they're cheap enough and they do sell. They sell, yeah, true. Yeah. Like usually there's are like little stadium giveaways or something. This is cool though. It's very cool. Yeah. It's very I've never seen an aluminum no. little souvenir bat like that before. No. And typically the wooden ones they'll usually sell depending on what team, what's on it or whatever. It's usually like a fifteen to twenty dollar item, mm -hmm. is what I found. Yeah, um, I think this one's probably going to be more. Though. I think so too, if we can find one. Yeah, uh, got one of these inflators. This thing, I think, I'm pretty sure. We just said this the other day when we were. I think it's new in the box, but I didn't actually open it. They had a lot of stuff that was like new in the box. I'm going to say new on this. Okay, it has a tag on it. I mean, our. Well, it doesn't have the packaging, and it doesn't look like it's ever been used there. The reason I got this, though, like I may keep that. Yeah. It's only worth maybe twenty bucks or so, uh, but I have one myself, and I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's like the best, especially for, um, for like when we get the truck and the camper out there, and I'm always like checking the air pressure on the trailer tires, and um, I use I use one just like that, and it makes it super easy. It's super fast. Yep. Um, these are cross pins now. These four, these right here, set, 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 and set, mm -hmm. and they're all like 10 karat gold filled. And some of them have been used a little, like these have definitely been used. I think they all have, they all have, yeah. okay. Yeah, they're not maybe not the one that still has the paper around it, but the others do look like they're not beat up bad or anything. No. Um, I, from what I could see, you could usually expect this has some advertising on it or something. Mm -hmm. You can usually expect to get about twenty-five dollars a set for these. So we probably got about a hundred dollars worth of pins there. And then I have two other brands quill. that are cheaper. This is a quill ballpoint pen. Nothing too special there. And this is Schaefer. That's a Schaefer's, and I don't know. I don't have no idea what that one's worth. Yeah. It's got a company on it also in the year 2000. Yeah. Now, this guy did have a few, like, in the uh, office room, which is my favorite. He did have a few things that were looked like they were gifts. And he never, um, they had, still had the, the cards with them and stuff. They had never been opened or anything. One of them was this Bose Sound Sport uh, headphones. And these are sealed. Um I think I can get about 70 to 80 bucks for these. 
and you could see there's tape probably where yeah. the, where it was wrapped right there yeah. I, pro I think i can get about 70 probably 75 to 80 bucks for those um there are there actually are some that are for sale that ship from china and they only ask 45 but the u.s sellers that i saw that sold new ones i looked on terapeak looks like they're getting uh i saw a couple of solds for 78 brand new sealed like that this is a little buck knife very cool yeah and um it's yeah it's made in usa and all that stuff yeah. and the, the blade is in good condition yeah not sure what that's worth um for purposes of of kind of estimating a price though uh i assumed it was worth about 20 bucks and i don't know it, if i'm off i'm off by 10 yeah. one way or the other probably what are those candace we don't we couldn't figure it out we have a pair of them um and it has on it it has there's like a, a crown like looks like the royal crown and then um the crawl a cross symbol below and then kind of a wreath around it and we don't even know what they are i want to show you the back of them you can see um they're made in italy and we don't know what they're for <laughs> no we don't uh made in italy patent is pending are they maybe a button cover they, we thought that at first but this doesn't come open or anything so i don't know i'm gonna um and i told her i like a good challenge researching things so um i took them and we'll see i think they are button covers how would you get the button on there i think look from this end right here i think it you could kind of flex it or something mm, it doesn't yeah. okay yeah so i'm gonna see if i can figure out what those are and what that symbol is all right, and then we have this little set of four of these little ducks or something well no it's two sets of two these are baseball players okay, oh then these aren't those are um looney tunes ducks okay splinter this says 1980 walter lance productions fine pewter made by yeah. hudson and then this is winnie woodpecker uh, not, i was thinking ducks they're, no yeah they're woodpeckers yeah well the those bills almost look like duck bills but they're i wonder if that's uh from woody woodpecker it kind of i don't know yeah but uh yeah, yeah we, winnie and splinter are their names yeah i assume this is some more hudson pewter i assume that these aren't going to be worth a ton yeah. for purposes of uh estimating for a value i'm going to guess about 20 dollars for all four mm-hmm all right, this is a um, Nike dry fit golf shirt, and I got it because it still has the tag on it. Um, okay. I don't think it's huge money, probably like 25 bucks is what it's I'm got thinking. a little guy there. Yeah, a little golf guy. Okay. And I don't know if that's a logo for a company or just something that Nike made. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that logo at all. Yeah. Um, this is a hat from the Calgary Olympics. And Lonnie thought it was a women's because it's kind of small. It's either women's or children's. Yeah, it's Aflex Adidas. It is. It's a sm size small hat. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's probably a men's small or women's. Yeah. Or women's hat or something like that. It's a nice hat. Man. A Cajun cookbook from Southern Standard Fittings, and it's got some uh, really interesting stuff in it. We weren't, as far as finding a value on this, we didn't find any solds on Terapeak. Yeah. Uh, we did find two actives. One active is for 50, the other one is for 15. Yeah. So for purposes of this video, we're gonna assume that this is worth 15. It looks, that book looks old. It does. And uh, we're gonna assume that hat's probably 15 too. Look, Cajun rabbit skin and disjoint rabbit. <laughs> no, thank you. Let's see what year it's from old time cajun recipes yeah oh look they don't even have a uh you know what I'm, I'm thinking that this company just private labeled it but I, they might may have had nothing to do well i don't know it's they're from, from Opelousa. Opelousa. this is a legit uh louisiana okay. book yeah all right. all right this is a nice bible it's the life application study bible large print T tyndale large print it's got the gilded pages it's got mm -hmm. the leather cover it's really nice yeah really it, it i looked them up briefly i think that's probably about a 40 dollar book okay. right there and then the last thing candace spotted this in the office i i missed it i love these little lamps yeah this is a uh it's it's similar to one of those um it's a it's a knockoff basically of one of those tensor yeah 
tensor brand lights which, that were popular in the 70s which we were just talking about last week yeah i had i watch a few uh channels about like old tech like retro tech and stuff mm -hmm. and some this guy i watch i can't remember who tech moan maybe i'm not sure i don't remember who it was but he, they did a whole video about these old tensor lights like and i watched it like what last week yeah you were so, telling me about it this is made in Taiwan, which is probably what, like 70s? Yeah, oh yeah. It's yeah. in that time frame. Yeah. And it's got a good look, and it worked. Yeah. So, Candace... Yeah, the chrome is really clean. And, uh, and it's got the wood grain. Yeah. Look. And look, that that's how big of a deal it was. Transformer powered. Yeah. Because I think these are... Yeah, there's a transformer in there. It's just... It converts the AC to DC, because I think those are... Um, those little bulbs are DC bulbs instead of AC bulbs. So that's the whole idea there. Well, but, uh, now we have some stuff Lonnie can list so he doesn't have to get cracking with me. That's cracking. <laughs> get cracking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to uh, spend the rest of my day listing this stuff. Like like I said, we I think we have about... We spent 174 mm -hmm. And I think we've got about 100 uh, No, nah, not 100 four hundred and sixty dollars worth of stuff here so roughly three hundred in profit before fees yeah and but i could be off on some things right because i'm not really sure about this this i'm not definitely sure about this i don't know about this yeah. so some of those surprise me then that that total could go a little higher right but the other value and i don't know what i don't know anything about this but there's a limit to how much somebody would pay for something like this anyways right. man it is cool though it's so cool. We should give it to my mom. She's this year has become a, a LSU baseball fan, and my mother, my whole life has never watched I know. sports. We went over there. Like for, I'm talking, she goes to every game. Yeah, we went that over kind to. Of fan. We went over there for Mother's Day this year, and she was talking LSU baseball the whole time we were eating. I was like, "What? Is, who is this I'm like, person? Who is this? She's never watched. <laughs> she's never watched football, basketball, baseball, nothing." And then it picks up a new hobby. Huh? Yeah, it was, it was weird to me. I'm like, yeah. okay. So. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna get crack. I'm gonna get cracking on this. I'm getting cracking. Okay. I'm getting cracking, cracking. <laughs> and you're getting listing. Yep. I might have to borrow some of your. Uh, I am gonna research these. Though. I might have to borrow some of your uh, metal lotions for uh, some of my pens here, just to kind of give them a quick rub down. I wouldn't use anything on this gold plating. No? No. Okay. Some of my stuff may take the um, plating off. All right. Well, I'll just Windex them, then, yeah. if anything. Yeah. All right. And I think, uh, let's see, it's late in the day. Like, we have not gotten much done because we've gone out twice today. Right. It's 3 o'clock. So, I think we're going to wrap this thing up. Um, if I find anything cool here, I'll let y'all know in the next video. And we will see y'all again very soon. Thanks a bunch for watching. Bye, y'all. Bye.